What's really interesting about this is that there is a question over whether maybe in the same way that Ukraine was placed first because of political reasons, perhaps the points that we got from France and from Germany suggest that maybe in, in political terms that possibly one of the reasons why we place so highly this year is because of Boris Johnson's support for, for Ukraine and because of the comments made yeah. by yep. Zelensky about Boris Johnson. And so actually, possibly, aside from Sam Ryder being an incredible voice, it may also be that we've done well this year on, polit on a political yes. basis, which could be in interesting in terms of redeeming uh, our reputation as global Britain going forward amongst our European counterparts. There's a, a rumour, too, that Macron will be singing next year's uh, uh, song for France, which I think would be wonderful. He can go on with that hairy chest. <laughs> yes. Share it to us all and we'll all vote for him. <laughs> oh, definitely. 12 points for uh, Monsieur Macron, as long as he stays out of politics. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's fine by me. Uh, Jay, before we go, can you just tell me what your emotions are like on the day of Eurovision when you're just preparing to go on stage with tens, if not hundreds of millions of people watching around the world. It's a live show. Um, just tell me what's going through your head. Well, it is nerve wracking, but you have to dig deep and you have to just focus on the job in hand. So you've got, you know, the three minutes to change your life. That's what the record company tells you. That's what you know is going to happen. You've just got to well, be professional and try and enjoy it because at the end of the day, it is a bit of fun. You can't really take it seriously. You've got to just focus on the job in hand and, and enjoy it. And I think that comes across on the camera. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, it, for us, it was a fabulous bit of fun and changed our lives. It was just a great moment.